Oh, what's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent me with a word, y'all. Now, I don't know who needs this, but God says somebody needs this message. So I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, way, you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing the video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, family, listen, I have already prayed and bless this space. Y'all know how I get down, right? I done already welcomed the Holy Spirit in and welcomed the good Lord in, right? But, Father God, I still ask that you take over, Father God, and speak through me. I'm your vessel, Father. Speak to your children and make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, family, again, I don't know who need this word tonight, but God says you need this thing, so I pray that it reaches you, and I pray that it's a blessing, all right? Now, family, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, you got to know this word is for you, okay? This should serve as a confirmation. So God is saying right now, he said, they will tremble. Yes, your father said, they will tremble. Now, y'all, this is not going to be for everybody, but whoever this is for, baby, it will be no question if this word is for you, okay? You're going to catch this thing in the spirit. So God is saying right now, he said, when they see you restored, when they see you rebuilt, come on now, I'm telling you, your father say, when they see you restored. So this is for those who God has been restoring you, okay? And everyone is not at the same spot, right? Some people has been restored. Some of you guys are still being restored. But okay, just take this thing back to God. But God has been doing restoration. He has been rebuilding, okay, throughout the kingdom. Okay, some of you guys is your relationships, right? God has restored your marriage. He has restored your relationships with your with some friends or family members, right? Children or with parents. Okay, God has been restoring relationships. He's restoring finances. God has been restoring your health. Come on now. He is restoring uh some of you guys spiritually. Right? God is saying when they see you restored, baby, they will tremble. So I don't know who you are, but receive this thing by faith, guys. God is saying when they see the prosperity and peace that he has provided for you, baby, they will tremble. I'm telling you right now, baby, when, when you're restored and you're rebuilt with the Father, baby, it's going to be like nothing happened. Do you hear me? Your father said like nothing happened. And y'all, when God gave me this word, I just kept hearing that echoing in my head. He said like nothing happened. You know how they say, uh, you don't look like what you've been through. Your father's going to, it's saying right now, baby, it's going to be like nothing happened. When he rebuild you, when he restores you, baby, when he get through with you, baby, it's going to be like nothing happened. When he get through with that marriage, come on now. When he get through rebuilding that marriage, it's going to be like nothing happened. When he get through rebuilding your finances, baby, it's going to be like nothing happened. Do you hear me? Receive this thing by faith, baby. He say when he get through restoring your health, come on now. It's going to be like nothing happened. Do you hear me? Your father say it's going to be like nothing happened. And when he's done rebuilding, when he's done restoring, you will be able to enjoy peace and security. Okay? He said you will enjoy peace and security. Your father said, I'm, what I'm about to do for you, baby. He said, I'm going to do it for you, and you will know that you have not been forgotten. Come on now. Your father said you will know you have been forgiven. Come on now. Listen to me. Your father said you will know without a doubt that his love is unchanging and unfailing. I'm telling y'all, whoever this is for, baby, God said after he do this thing for you, he said you will have a genuine praise. He said unbreakable faith. Come on now. Your father said you will have unbreakable faith, baby. And when he gave it to me, I said, Father, my faith is already unbreakable. Come on now. Listen to me, y'all. I told him, I said, God, my faith is already unbreakable. You have already been faithful. You have already been good to me. Come on now. Listen to me, y'all. I told him straight up. I said, baby, my faith is already unbreakable. I'm not waiting for you to do something. 
Come on now, listen, somebody, amen that. Come on now, agree with me on that. Come on, somebody say, my faith is already unbreakable. God, I ain't waiting for you to do something. Come on now, you have already done enough. Come on now, you was faithful last season. Come on now, you have already been so good to me. Come on now, somebody say that thing out loud. Say, God, my faith is already unbreakable. In Jesus' name, come on, say that thing out loud then. Go down there in the comments and type it out. Come on now. Do you agree that your faith is unbreakable today? We ain't waiting for him to do what he's saying. Come on now. We know today that he's already faithful. Come on now. Since you know he is faithful, come on, declare that your faith is already unbreakable. Amen. My faith is already unbreakable, baby. Because God was good last season. Come on now. He's already been faithful. Come on now. Listen, I'm telling you, I don't know who this is for, but God is saying what he's about to do for you. What he's about to do for you, baby, they will tremble when they see you. Come on now, when they see you restored, when they see you rebuilt, when they see how God has provided. Come on now, because one thing about your God, baby, he will provide. I'm telling you, they won't believe their eyes. Come on now, they won't believe their ears when they hear how the Lord has provided for you, when they hear what the Lord has done for you, baby, because they know where you come from. Listen to me. They know where you came from. They know what you've been through, but they didn't know God was going to do this for you. Come on now. They didn't know God was going to restore that marriage like this. I'm telling y'all right now, God said they're going to see you, see you with your husband or your wife and be like, oh. when they going to see you in your house and be like, oh, they going to see you in that car, baby, and be like, oh. They going to see your finances restored, baby. They going to be like, oh, I'm telling you right now, God say when they see what he's about to do for you, you're going to be fully restored. Come on now. Fully rebuilt. And when you're restored and rebuilt with the father, baby, you're rebuilt on a strong foundation, on a unbreakable foundation. Do you hear me? Your father say they will tremble. Do you hear me? I don't know who you are, but receive this thing by faith. God say he is restoring you like nothing happened. He is restoring that marriage like nothing happened. He is restoring your finances like nothing happened. I feel that thing so deep, baby. Your father say like nothing happened. And you know if this is for you because you have already been going through the restoration. Some of you guys are at the end of it. Some of you are still in the midst of it, baby. Some of y'all are at the beginning and just going through just, you know, having the things demolished and fell apart. Okay, falling apart. But God is saying right now, no one thing, baby. You will be rebuilding with him. He is going to restore you, okay? He said when he restores you, baby, they're going to see you and they won't believe their eyes. Come on now. They're going to hear about what he is doing with you and they won't believe their ears. Do you hear me? God say they will be in awe. And listen, y'all, let me get y'all some scripture and then I'm going to let y'all go, baby. I don't know who this is for, but I pray that it reaches you, okay? And I pray that it blesses you because it blessed me when he gave it to me. Amen? So listen, y'all, God led us to Jeremiah 33. Again, Jeremiah 33, verses 6 through 9. I encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you, okay? Y'all, it's Jeremiah 33, verses 6 through 9, and it reads, It says, Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Come on now, guys. Two things right there, or three things. He said he going to heal you, and you will enjoy abundant peace insecurity come on now listen y'all go oh i get so excited when i bring words like this y'all let me finish reading though y'all it said i will bring judah and israel back from captivity and we re real uh, and will rebuild them as they were before i will cleanse them from the sin he said all sin they have committed against me and will forgive them for all their sin of rebellion against me. Come on now, listen to me. I'm telling you, God said he will cleanse you of all sin. I'm telling he's not talking about perfect people, but he's speaking about faithful people. Amen. He's not speaking about people who have not committed sin. He said, I will forgive you. That's why I say it in the word. He said, you will know that you have been forgiven. Amen. Listen, let me tell y'all. Let me finish going, y'all. I'm in verse 9 now. I'm in verse 9. It said, Then this city will bring me renounced joy, praise, and honor before all nations on the earth. They're here of the good things I do for it. They will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Come on now, listen to me, baby. Your father said, When they hear, 
about what he has done for you, when they hear about how he has provided for you, come on now, when they see how God has restored you, come on now, when they see how God has rebuilt you, come on now, when they see how God has restored your marriage, when they see how God has restored your finances, when they see how God has rebuilt that business, come on now, when they see, come on, let me turn this light back on y'all, listen, when they see how God has restored your relationships, come on now, with your children, with your, with your parents, when they see God say they will be in awe. Because they know what you've been through. They know what you came, where you came from. They know who you can to, but they have no idea what God has in store for you. They don't know what God has been, been, been doing with you. Come on now. They don't know how you have been in the lab with the Lord. Amen. How God has been restoring and rebuilding you, baby. God say when they see, baby, they going to be trembling. Okay. They will tremble at what the Lord is doing with you. Listen, I don't know who this is for, but I pray that this thing reaches you and I pray that it, it blesses you, okay? Listen, I love y'all so, so much, family. I really, really do, y'all. I miss y'all. I thank y'all for y'all. Listen, I have been, listen, just the updates on the shirts, y'all. I have been asked for addresses. I will send shirts out this week. Yes! Shirts are being sent out this week, y'all. So, listen, if you want to get your get your shirt size in, it is not too late. Go on, send that. Shoot that to my email. Again, the email is going to be in the description box on youtube or you can find it on my profile on tiktok and guys this is also one of the shirts this is one of my favorite shirts right y'all in it listen i'm just re ready to represent okay i know in this time during this season we're all looking to receive a lot of people looking to receive i want us to stand for giving all right in a month of december it's going to be our month of generosity family so uh i asked you guys just pray and ask god how you can give where you can give and what you should give right be led by the spirit in your giving but choose this time and this season and this month to give okay there will be a lot of people looking to receive but god is going to bless us to be a blessing to others he has already blessed us to be a blessing to others so guys let's go out and be a blessing to others and i know i said at the at the end of every video but i mean that okay it is a blessing to bless others all right so listen again i love y'all so so much guys i really really do and i thank you guys for for the emails of encouragement the prayers for me and my family y'all i thank y'all so so much for lifting us up to the father even if you didn't send it by email i thank you for your prayers okay i thank you guys for for being a part of the family and allowing me to be a part of your journey okay i thank you for the love the comments the shares uh, uh the likes all of it guys I thank you for giving. Thank you for sowing your seeds, for, for the donations, for, for the gifts that you guys have been sending in. I thank you for your generosity, for giving to the ministry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, for giving to God's mission, for what he's going to do here with us, for what he's already doing here with us, right? I thank you, and I pray that God will, will uh, give it back to you a hundredfold in whatever way that you need it. Amen. It is in Jesus' name that I'm praying for you guys, okay? All right, y'all, listen. Go out and live a blessed life. You know, a blessed life comes from first being a blessing.